Hey, hello, and thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, so this is a tutorial on Olive Video Editor, and I'm completely aware that last time I did specifically tell that next video will be about shortcuts. Let me throw that out of the window. So let me focus on effects. Let me show you a bunch of effects, and our last tutorial will be about uh, shortcuts and so on. I think effects are more important, and yeah. I did specifically tell everyone at the first video that Olive is not an effect program. It doesn't have a 3D effects or fancy things. And that's true. It only has very super basic effects. But if you know how to use them, um, you can pretty much make a, like a super cool video without um, needing like really fancy and expensive effects. So let me show you how you can get your effects. So the first thing, let's go ahead and select the clip. And when you select the clip, we have the effects panel. And we can add effects to the video with this button, add video effect, or to the audio with this button right here. Right now, we only have uh, audio effects with our uh, meaning at transitions, meaning we can make the volume get lower at the end or at the beginning, but video effects are more uh, thorough. We have more video effects than we do have audio effects, so I'll be focusing on video effects. So let's select our clip, click on this button to add a new effect. We have all of those right here. We have blur effects that would make your video blurry. So the box blur will make it be blurry on the X direction and on the Y direction. So you can edit the blur right here. And if you really exaggerate it, you'll know what I mean. So it's blurring this way and this way. Therefore, it's like a box. That's why it's called a box blur. If I don't like an effect, I can of course toggle the effect. Or if I want to delete it, I can select this bar and just delete it. Let me now show you, let me show you the directional blur. The directional blur, let me exaggerate it by changing the angle changing the length, so it's blurring it this way. If I modify the angle, it's now being blurred this way, that way, and so on. Just delete it. Gaussian blur, that's like the blur that you will most likely be expecting from a, from a blur. You just exaggerate it, it makes it look really blurry you can toggle the horizontal and vertical if you wanted to. But yeah, the Gaussian blur, that's the blur that you will most likely be thinking when you think of a blur. Radial blur, it's like a shine. You see, I can make the center be maybe somewhere else. And so yeah. And if, as, if you, as you can see, oh, if I can speak properly, they all have keyframe capabilities, meaning that you can like make really cool effects like this. Of course, right now my computer is stuttering because I'm recording my screen and adding a, a heavy effect at the same time. But whoa! <laughs> Let me go ahead and remove the keyframe and remove the blur itself. So yeah, that's blurs. Also add color effects, color correction effects that can help you Make a video brighter, darker.
we can add exposure to it. You can use this kind of thing just to counteract the thing. You can modify it here. You can make it do really strange stuff. We're not going to go into detail right now. Just I want you to be aware that this effect exists. That's the color correction effect. Let me get rid of it. Let me also add hue saturation bl uh, brightness. This is a more basic color correction. Hue refers to a color on the color palette. So we can make everything green, everything red. And see, you can keyframe it. So if you can keyframe it and and you make it switch really quick, it'll look like, like a light show. You can also make it really saturated or really bright. And you can get like a, if you keyframe it, you can get like a party effect like this. Again, I'll remove it. Invert, inverts the color pretty much. Noise, adds noise. Let me exaggerate that, that's a lot of noise. It can be colored noise, just regular noise. And that's only visual noise. Uh, it will not add uh, any uh, audio kind of noise. Just will mess up with your video, not the audio. Distort. There's a bunch of distorts. The most like common, I think, will be a uh, swirl, which is like a like a tornado. You can make it really big, really small. You can have it have like bunch of layers to it you can move the placement and remember you can animate the swirl so those are transform I'm sorry uh distort effects there's bludge I'll never I have no oh so it's like a like a ball I'm gonna just run through them corner pin that is just to mess with the perspective. You can mess with the perspective of, of each like anchor point, the top left point, top right point, so on. You can just disable perspective and it will just plainly distort the thing without adding perspective. Let's remove that. Crop, I think this is the most useful effect. Crop is really cool. Just you can crop, like make a square out of the video by choosing like a top and bottom section. And then you can of course edit that. So if you want it, you can, for example, like crop a video. So it's at the center. And remember, since you can like make multiple uh, layers, you can have like one video cropped and the other video in the background that way you can make like a like a multi-cam video by cropping one of them like this so one half is one video and the other half is the other video that's why the crop is re really useful let me just now actually remove the crop so we can show you the next couple of effects a uh, shake this is a shake effect. It makes the thing go in and out. I think that's quite popular, but I never use it. I think uh, it it makes your video look really unprofessional in my opinion. You can add a fisheye effect. It looks like this. Then again, you will most likely never use fisheye effect. You can add a title can transform the video that's the same as above so add a wave it looks like that so yeah, the main takeaway from the distort um, is in my opinion uh, the oh the ripple not the ripple 
not the ripple uh, will be crop that's like the main take a uh, takeaway you can crop a thing so you can focus in on one character for example and the rest of the effects um, are just uh, to distort the video to mess with it keying what is keying keying means a green screen <laughs> with the key effect you can make a chroma key and then you can select what color do you want to key out what color do you want to remove you can choose this color and now that and everything that contains that color will be transparent meaning if you place like a clip above another they will be combined because it is keying out the color. Let me go ahead and undo all of that. So that's how you can make a green screen. A full on green screen tutorial will come later. But yeah, this is the effect. Chroma key color finder. All those are variants of a green screen effect. Render. Here you can add effects that need rendering, like a color, text, time code. You can add the time code. You might want to do that. Which text is this one right here? Then, there we go, and stylize. And those are like more um, like effects that you'll actually use if you just want to add like a specific like look to the video like this one chromatic alteration this is like a VHS looking effect you know so that way you can make like, your video look super retro if you like combine this effect because you can combine the effect with like the the stored like shake and then make it really shaky and you zooming on it you can make it like seem like a found footage or like something is about to happen i don't know but you can mix and match effects so the chromatic that was like a vhs effect cross a stitch That's like a pixelated uh, effect, but uh, more stylized. Um, it's not like a pixel uh, per se. We also have this one right here. I have actually taken a look at all of the effects because in my opinion, uh, you should never use them <laughs> other than the blur effect maybe. So this one is like a, a when like your character it's like waking up from a dream or something. You might want to use emboss. Okay, I just took like a quick <laughs> water break. My throat is getting super sore. That's uh, pixelate, self-explanatory. You can add pixels. You can choose how many pixels on each axis. You can choose like super pixelated, I don't know. That's super self-explanatory. You can also use this effect, uh, which is like a very 80s looking like gamma filter. I mean, it doesn't look quite good, but I mean, you could use it if you want to make like an 80s type of video. Tunify course that makes everything look like a cartoon so you can choose like like just like eight colors make them really bright I don't know just uh you know you could use 
you could get away with that, but I think it just looks really like unnecessary, but you know. Okay, so the vignette, uh, that's actually that you would use day in and day out. Uh, the vignette is just this thing. So if you want to make the viewer just focus on something, you can add a vignette. But you might say, okay, this is like really exaggerated. You can make a really soft vignette. Oh, that's softness of the... So you can just make it really subtle, just like that. That way it's only making a really, really small difference. But anyways, I mean the eye is trained to look at the brightest part of the screen. So if you just add the vignette every once in a while, that will uh, uh, subconsciously make the viewer, you know, focus on the center of the screen. So that can, th this is actually super useful. The last is volumetric light. That's like if you wanted to like go into hyperspace <laughs> or something like that. So those are the effects, the video effects. This is uh, beginning to be a long video, but you also have, of course, uh, audio effects meaning dissolve, so you can add like a audio effect. So you can choose the length of the dissolve, meaning um, at the beginning I want the volume to be really low, I want it to slowly build up, and at the end I want the audio to be at 100% and slowly come down. That's what this length means, and actually you can see right here the dissolve taking place. This is your dissolve at the beginning, at the end. I I can just get rid of the dissolve at the beginning and just leave it at the end. Oh, I'm sorry, because this was a, a video effect that just means that I, I wanted to start full brightness and end zero brightness, meaning complete dark. Can be like a cool way to close out a video you can modify of course with your mouse and if you select the clip oh i'm about to give you a shortcut tip how you can click ctrl shift d and that way you can automatically add cross dissolves but yeah more uh, shortcut tips will be on the next couple of videos. So yeah, this video was just uh, a run through about all of the video and audio effects. I'll see you in the next video on some ways that you can use them, some creative ways that you can combine uh, keyframes and effects to make a, like a really cool project. So yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching my video and happy editing.